Hello folks. I've had a request for um, sending up a business letter using um, Word. I'm using Word um, 2003, but um, you may be using 2007 or 2010. Um, and there are a few um, um, differences with them. I'll just bring up. Um, I'll see if I can make that a bit bigger. 2007, it, it, they're all much the same, except there's, um, like you can see along these lines for bold, slant, and underlining, and putting the color into it, or changing it from um, position on the page here, like, you, like you've been shown. Um, and after you finish with the uh, the document you go up here and click uh, click on here and uh, there'll be a drop down come where it's save as um, um, word document I think it is phrase and in 2010 it's they're all as I say very much the same um, and up here you click there and to save your document to wherever you want to save it um, but other than that it, it, it's, they're all very much the same all right I'll just go out of here um, now, now first I'll get you to go into click uh, left click on your start button all programs uh, look for Microsoft Office uh, where are we? Microsoft Office uh, word there it's in a small state there now usually with a um, setting up a letter you usually got the recipient's name over here the company name and address um, up here you'd have um, your address, uh, city in the zip code, date, and phone number if you want to put it in. Um, then down about here you'd have the uh, dear Joe blog, whatever. Then you'd write your um, uh, what you want to say, a letter, and then da down uh, <coughs> at the bottom You'd, you'd sign off you, your name, designation, and then your signature. Uh, okay, um, now I'm going to just, uh, just to speed things up, I'm going to cut and paste some of the things in, in here. So, and I'll explain as I go along. Okay, um, now I'll put the uh, the address now normally to shift things around you've got um, you've got to put your cursor along alongside left click and hold and and move the cursor across like this and it will it will go black and that, in other words you've highlighted it and to um, but because I've cut and paste this, it comes up like this. Now, I want to um, put that over to here. So I'll go to the far right and we'll put it in there. All right. Now, the next thing you need to do is um, is to put the company's name and address. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got the coughs. I've been suffering from hay fever, I'm afraid, folks. Um, okay, I'll paste. Now, I don't want that there. 
so we'll go back up here and shift it across now this is where you write the recipient's name the company and the and their address <coughs> all right um we'll just scroll it up a bit then oh, down here oh, you start your your letter dear whoever his name is <coughs> uh, <coughs> so and then you would write um, write your letter um, I'm just going to um, and this is just to speed things up uh, and this is how I'm cutting and pasting this <coughs> and I'll just shift it over a bit okay, okay. Um, you may not be able to read this but the first paragraph paragraph of a typical le uh, business letter is to use to state the main point of the letter begin with a friendly opening then quickly transition into the purpose of your letter use a couple of sentences to explain the purpose but do not go into detail until the next paragraph Uh, beginning with the second paragraph, state the, the supporting details to justify your purpose. Uh, these may take the form of background information, statistics or first-hand accounts. A few short paragraphs within the body of the letter should be enough to support your reasoning. Now, finally, in the closing paragraph, briefly restate your purpose and why it is important if the purpose of your letter is employment relate, related consider ending your letter with your contact information however if the purpose is informal think about closing the letter with the gratitude of um, the gratitude for the reader's time um, and and then you would sign it off uh, accordingly like so you you put your name your designation and then sign off here now I'll just blow this up to full size <coughs> and just to remember that I've cut and paste this so but n normally if you want to uh, if you have to shift things around, uh, shift them across the page, just remember you've always got, uh, and once again, um, because I'm using cut and paste, it'll come up like this, but you just left click and hold you, and run your cursor over here until it comes up black. Then go, um, go over here and position it, that's uh, hard left, centre, and right and it will shift it to where you want um, after that's done um, and you're happy with the, the layout of it um, you can then just go go up to file and save as now it's gonna we're gonna save it as a, a word document no, I'll save it to my desktop. Uh, name it whatever you want. Um, um, letter to Joe Blogs. And click save and it will go into your um, 
it'll be saved on your, your desktop or in your documents, wherever you want to save it. It's up to you. All right. Well, that's it, folks. Um, very quickly. Um, just a bit of practice and, and uh, you, you'll be fine. Um, the, main, the, the main idea of it is just to get used to where and using um, uh, the Word document and where to, where to um, place these things, how, how you can color, uh, different, change the, uh, the styles and the formatting, change the font size, uh, if you want to make it bold or, or slant, underline, you change the colour of the font, but just remember any changes you do, you must um, highlight it. Left click and hold and go across like so. Um, Alright, well I'll leave it there folks, and um, hopefully this has been some help. Okay, bye bye until next time.